Christoph, congrats, uh, not only just on making the list, because most companies don't, but tell us how you went from number 320 whatever to seven in four years. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks for, for having me. Uh, we're honored, obviously, so to be to be up there. We've been 100 years in business. We've been growing fast for a long time. And I think it's not so much what we do that has changed, but much more uh, the demand uh, for what we do. As I explained before, so we're the global leader in, uh, in water and infection prevention. And uh, we're helping millions of customers out there protect what's vital. Last year alone, we helped protect 1.4 billion people from infection. Uh, we helped protect a third of the world food production. At the same time, we did all that by helping our customers reduce enough water for the drinking needs of 700 million people, which means they could reduce their cost as well at the same time. So in short, um, the demand of what we do uh, is more needed than it's ever been. Customers need us. They need more of our solutions. Our impact is bigger as well. So while we grow, we help our customers reduce the impact and improve their performance at the same time. Maybe one of the reasons. Yeah, pretty amazing. I mean, uh, I don't think we've ever, I mean, I'd have to go to Justin ask him. I don't think we've ever seen, seen this, this kind of, of move in a company up their rankings as well. How do the employees react? I mean, how, how do you share this information with them? What is the, the mood and sort of the vibe inside the company? We're in a very good place. And again, it's been for a long time, you know, in good times, in more difficult times, our purpose of protecting what's vital, people from infection and natural resources, is driving our people, our 47,000 great people around the world every single day, because they know that what they do has a major impact on our customers, on the environment, and at the end of the day, on our performance as well at the same time. So doing what's right the right way, it's what's been driving us for 100 years, and we'll be driving us for the next 100 years. We just mentioned it briefly in the intro, Christoph, but kind of just piece together the role of what you do, water, cooling, et cetera, to AI, to data centers. It's a great question. You know, those new technologies, uh, electrification or uh, digital technologies all need much more power, obviously. They need more power. Uh, they need more cooling as well, because computer uh, that are computing a lot and managing a lot of data, well, they create a lot of heat and you need to cool down uh, the heat uh, as well. And those are the technologies that we're providing to the high-tech companies everywhere around the world. Interestingly enough, many of those data centers, the semis production uh, as well, is in places where there is not much water to make it even more challenging. But the very good news is that most of those companies are the mm -hmm. most committed to do it in a way that's as neutral to the environment as it can be. And we have all the solutions for them to get to net zero the quickest possible way.